Okay, this is method number two, factory. Uh, the very first thing we do is, uh, for all factoring, make sure that the right-hand side equals zero. Okay, or the left-hand side. Make sure one side equals zero. So I'm going to bring the plus 48 across. And because it's crossed the border, it becomes minus 48. The next stage we're going to do is we're going to factor. What I'd like to do is try and break this up into two brackets. Okay, and if you remember your factoring loop-de-loop, -loop, what multiplies to make 48 and subtracts to make positive 2? Okay, the answer will be plus 8 and minus 6. Okay, so this factors into r plus 8 and r minus 6. Now we use a fundamental principle of multiplying that if two things are multiplied to make 0, then automatically either one is 0 or the other is 0. So I write out a little either or equation here and I see say either the first bracket is 0 or the second bracket is 0. So what I have done is taken a difficult equation with lots of R's in them and broken it down into two very simple equations. Okay, All I have to do is take 8 to the other side here and negative 6 to the other side here and out pops my two answers. R equals negative 8 or this one says R equals positive 6. Okay, it only works so if you can make one side equal to zero. Because if I have two numbers that multiply to make 48, then there's an infinite number of answers. I can't conclude anything. But if there's two numbers that multiply to make zero, automatically I can come to this either or conclusion. Either one is zero or the other is zero. So it's really important that before you factor, you make one side equal to zero. Okay, this is another example of factoring. This time I have two terms on the right-hand side. I could bring the 3w squared across, but I like to keep it positive. It's easier to factor that way. So I'm going to bring these two fellows over to the left. And because they've crossed the border, please remember that both signs are changed. So plus 9w becomes minus 9w and plus, minus 6 becomes plus 6. Now, before I factor, I happen to notice that 3 goes into everything there. Okay. So if I factor out the 3, take the common factor of 3 out, I'm left with that. Now I can break up this thing into two brackets. <coughs> what multiplies to make 2 and adds up to 3 is plus 2, that, sorry, adds up to negative 3, is minus 2 and minus 1. So therefore it factors into w minus 2 and w minus 1. Okay, we now have three things that multiply to make 0. Well, I know 3 is not 0, so therefore I write either the first bracket is 0 or the second bracket is 0. And now I end up with my two little simple equations to solve. In this one I'm going to take minus 2 to the other side, and in this one I'll take minus 1 to the other side. And that leaves me my answer is w equals plus 2 or w equals plus 1. So there is the two answers to the question. If you are checking your work, you should now make sure you check both, uh, both answers into your original equation. Okay, let's look 
and see what happens in this example. It's very similar to the one I just gave you. But in this case, 3 does not go into all three terms. So you cannot factor it out. Therefore, it's one of these hard trinomials where you have to start by doing 3 multiplied by the 6th and working with 18. So what adds up to, multiplies to make 18 and adds up to 11 is 9 and 2. Okay. So when I factor this thing, I can break up the middle term into 9 and 2 like that. 3 goes into both of those terms and so does W. I bring down the plus sign and 2 goes into both those terms and so does W. Now at this time please make sure you put in the right hand side equal to 0. Remember you're not just factoring here, you're solving equations. Now at this point we have two absolutely even brackets, W plus 3, so we can factor it into 3 plus 2 and W plus 3 equals 0. Okay. That leads us to our two simple equations. Either 3W plus 2 equals 0 or W plus 3 equals 0. Now the first one takes two steps to solve. Start by taking the 2 to the other side. And then divide both sides by 3 since the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And this gives you one answer. W equals negative 2 over 3. Okay. This bracket is easier to solve. Just take the 3 to the other side and that gives you W equals negative 3. Okay. So if it's a, what we call the hard trinomials, um, you either use your triple play method of factoring or the decomposition method of factoring like I've used here. You set up your two equations and then write your either or statement from there. Okay.